Hey guys, Mike here and in this video I'm going to show you several of my favorite apps for the Google Nexus 5. As you know, Nexus devices come with very few apps pre-installed, aside from Google's services, but the Play Store is stuffed with useful applications, so let's have a look at some of the best ones. Before we start though, don't forget that the thumbs up is going to be greatly appreciated if you'll enjoy this video. And if there are other apps that you can't live without on your Android devices, please tell me about them in the comments below. Ok, first on my list comes SwiftKey which has become my go-to keyboard on Android devices lately and something I wish I had on my iPhone as well. There's a free option if you want to try it out, otherwise it costs a few bucks. But why is it that great? Well, it has a nice layout with multiple themes, it supports multiple languages at the same time, and it learns from your typing habits the more you use it in order to better correct your errors and predict what you're trying to type. And these are just some of the things SwiftKey can do. Then there's the Dropbox app. I have Dropbox installed on all my devices, including my phones, tablets and laptops, and I use it to easily get files from one place to another. With the Nexus 5 and most other Android devices, you do get Google Drive pre-installed, which is a similar cloud storing service. So you can use that instead if you want to, but I for one have been with Dropbox for a while and I don't see why I'd change that in the near future. I also have Flipboard on the Nexus 5 in order to keep up to date with my favorite sites and news sources. I'm pretty sure many of you are already familiar with Flipboard, but if you're not, you should know that it's an attractive and easy way to read online content. You'll have to add the sites that you want to follow and the app will periodically update itself. Flipboard is free by the way. Another cool free app is called Zedge and it offers access to a huge collection of wallpapers, ringtones, notification sounds and games. Not all of them are great, but if you dig deep enough, you'll find some very cool things with this app. As a downside, the banners and ads within the application can get too aggressive. But hey, I for one can live with that. I'm also using Evernote on the Nexus 5 for my notes and tasks, mainly because Evernote is a cross-platform app available on Windows laptops, MacBooks, iPhones, etc. The app is free, but there's also a premium subscription that goes for $5 a month and offers, among others, collaborative notes. That's useful, although pricey, but I haven't yet found a decent alternative for it. Besides this, I also have the official Twitter app on my Nexus 5, as this is more or less the only social network that I use daily. The app is free and simple, with different tabs for your updates, mentions, direct messages and so on. There are of course some other third-party Twitter apps that you can try, with extra features, but I for one am fine with this basic standard one. And by the way, you should follow me on Twitter if you want to stay in touch. My ID is this one. Last but for sure not least, I have this app called ES File Explorer on the Nexus 5, one of the most complete managers available for Android devices right now. Now, a file manager is not necessarily something you're going to need every day on this phone, but it's definitely something worth having installed. And this one has all the functions you might need, including an application manager, an FTP client and an archiver, supports a ton of different languages and is of course free. Alright, these are 7 of the best apps that I have on the Nexus 5. I haven't included those pre-installed, although I tend to use things like the Maps, Gmail or YouTube apps a lot. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what do you think about these applications and what other great apps you have on your Android phones these days, so I can check them out as well. And as always, I'm really grateful that you're watching my videos and hopefully you enjoy this particular one as well. In which case, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for my next updates if you're not subscribed already. Catch you later.